Hey guys, it's your lovely girl again and welcome back to another episode of my channel and for today's vlog um, I will be traveling to Dubai Yes guys, you heard it right I will be traveling again and I won't be traveling alone I will be meeting right there my Canadian boyfriend We will be meeting halfway So he's all the way from Canada and I am all the way from the Philippines So I'm still here in Cebu Macan International Airport and currently I'm boarding gate number 9 waiting na lang to board the flight it is still ano oras na ba? 8.14 am and then yung boarding time namin is 8.30 yung flight ko guys is that Cebu to Manila and then Manila to Dubai so I will have a connecting flight in Manila for 2 hours and 25 minutes ata so I will take my immigration interview dona sa Manila. I just really hope na um, magiging okay lang yung immigration interview ko, smooth lang, madali lang. Anyways, I already have everything like yung mga documents ko nandito na sa ano ko. Ito. Nito na lahat siya and then naka-name na din siya para it will be easier for me to look for what specific documents the immigration officer wants from me. Boarding na kami. Anyways, for this vlog, I will be showing new normal ways of traveling during this pandemic. Without further ado, let's go Dubai! just landed here in Naia Airport and I'm currently waiting na lang sa shuttle sa free shuttle service nila kasi I have to transfer another terminal for the international flight and yeah, kinakabahan ako for the immigration but hopefully magiging okay lang siya. Hey guys so update um, it's 4pm na and unfortunately hindi ako naka-board sa flight ko going to Dubai. Supposed to be yung flight ko going to Dubai from Manila is may doon kain muna tayo. Nagugutom na ako. Hindi pa ako kumakain kanina pang umaga. The passport time na kasi is 1pm. Tapos arrive dito, na-arrive ako dito sa Manila around 10.30 na. So I only have like 2 hours and 30 minutes na connecting flight. Tapos dito ako mag immigration interview. So yun, ano nangyari is pumunta ako sa check-in counter ng Philippine Airlines to get my boarding pass going to Dubai. Yung staff na nag-assist sa akin, ang super slow niya, pinapaulit-ulit niya, chinek yung mga documents ko. It took like around 30 minutes after niya binigay sa akin yung boarding pass ko. It's like around ano na, 11.30 na. Nando pa ako sa immigration na nagla-line 12.10 na. Kasi super haba na pila. Pala, na-interview na ako sa immigration 12.20 na. Like, exact 12.20. Tsaka, 12.20 na yun. Boarding time na ng Philippine Airlines going to Dubai. And then, as expected, I have to undergo second investigation. So, pumunta ako sa investigation room ng mga immigration officer. Tapos, yun, in-investigate ako, saan ako pupunta, daming mga tanong nila, which I answered truthfully naman, and then convinced naman talaga sila na pupunta ako ng Dubai to meet my boyfriend. Wala akong ibang gagawin doon, hindi ako mag-work or anything. Naging clear na lahat na okay na yung investigation ko, tapos meron siyang pina, yung officer, meron siyang, pina, meron siyang pinipirmahan na papel na I'm allowed to go out to the country kasi nga kompleto yung mga documents ko, wala naging problema doon. Tapos, Kaso, 1.20 p.m. na yun. So, unfortunately, hindi na ako pinayagan mag-board na mag ng Philippine Airlines kasi close na yung boarding gate. Nakalipad na din yung aeroplano. And tapos sa ticketing office nila para mag na lang mag-refund. Kaso, my boyfriend book it through travel agency, third party. So, dapat ipaparefund namin siya Doon na rin kung saan kami nag, kung saan yung boyfriend ko nag-book ng flight ko. 
So I got two choices. I can take the flight with Philippine Airlines tomorrow or maybe on the next next day. But I have to take my RT-PCR test again. Kasi nga, 96 hours lang siya valid when you arrive in Dubai. Bale, I took my RT-PCR test 15th of December. So, supposed to be mag-96 hours siya tomorrow, 19th of December, 10 a.m. I have to stay in Manila for a few days, let's say two days, or I mean two nights, and then take another RT-PCR test again, which cost like 7000 So, what I did, I book na lang ng flights through Emirates, kasi meron silang flight today, 18th of December. Yung flight nila is, meron silang flight na around 6 p.m. And then the other one is 11 p.m. Pag tiritake ko tong 11 p.m. na flight, I will arrive in Dubai tomorrow, 19th of December, around 4 a.m. So, bali hindi pa expired yung RT-PCR test result ko. Binook ko yung 11 p.m. na mag-depart yung flight. So ngayon, andito ako sa Terminal 3. From Terminal 1, andito ako sa Terminal 3. So yun guys, I will update you once magiging okay na. It's already 5.49. Kita nyo ba? Yan, 5.49 na. And I'm already here sa check-in counter ng Emirates. And check-in counter nila will open 7.30. Yeah, I'm too early for the next flight. Anyways, kanina during sa immigration, binigyan ako ng immigration officer na like, it's approved na I can go outside the country na. So, ipapakita ko lang daw yun sa immigration dito sa Terminal 3 para maging okay na lahat. Tapos, kinascan naman niya lahat ng mga documents na present ko kanina. Tapos, yun, yun lang. Sabi niya, ibigay ko lang daw to sa next officer para maging okay lahat. And it's allowed to leave the country naman. And I already did um, check-in online. So, nag-wait na lang ako kung kailan pwede ma-drop yung mga luggages ko. Dalawa yung luggage ko dito and I already asked them earlier kung pwede ba dalawa yung check-in ko. Sabi nila, that's gonna be fine as long as both of my luggage will not exceed 35 kg. So, yeah. I will update you guys once I already passed sa immigration dito sa Terminal 3. <sighs> so, na guys. Um, I already passed immigration. Asaya ko na. And now, I am walking, going to my boarding gate. Let's check, guys. It's already 10.52. After almost 13 hours of being stuck here in Manila, finally boarding na ako going to Dubai. Ha, grabe yung experience ko today. Anyways, maka-update ako kung ano yung magiging process once I land in Dubai. Kung ano yung mga need na fill upan o ano yung mga una-una mo gawin once you land in Dubai. So, for now, matutulog muna ako guys. I will arrive in Dubai at uh, 4.45 dun sa Dubai. Tapos dito sa atin is that's gonna be like around 9am tomorrow morning. So yeah. They are providing us a travel hygiene kit where it includes the three ply masks, meron din gloves, hand sanitizer wow, nice shoe. And then my hand sanitizer and the bacteria wipes in. Oh, diba? Wait, open natin to. So ito yung laman guys ng box. Meron dalawang Sanitizing wipes, hand sanitizer, dalawa rin. Ano ba tong isa? Hand sanitizer. And then dalawang three-ply na mask. And gloves. Oh, cute.
nakuha ko na lahat yung mga luggage ko. Yan. And then, I'm trying to look for an ATM machine para makapag-withdraw ako. Wala pa kong AAB. Say hello, te. Andito ka sa vlog ko. <laughs> si ate o from Iloilo. ako and then sina sinabihan ko lang si ate babae yung driver pala diba ang usual pala makakita ng taxi driver na babae wala sa atin dyan sa Pilipinas eh. anyways nakapag withdraw na din ako and I'm heading to the hotel now uh, yeah that's the one Kyle Sancho This is so cool. Oh my god, it's so nice. Hey guys, so yes, I finally arrived here in Dubai. Ay, <laughs> tiko imagine after a very long flight, nine hours yung flight ko, tapos kahapon pa ako umaga ha, yung flight ko papuntang Manila. Sa Cebu pa Manila kasi ako. And then, yun na nga yung nangyari kanina. That was very unforgettable experience. Pina ako. Sobra. And then, kanina pala, um, nung dumating ako sa Dubai Airport, I really thought that uh, I'm gonna fill out something. Like, yung parang arrival card. Yung parang ganun, di ba? Kung pupunta ka sa ibang bansa, meron silang ibibigay na arrival card. Tapos yun ipapresent mo sa immigration booth. Mostly yung magbibigay ng mga arrival card is yung mga flight attendant during the flight. Kaso wala naman silang binigay so hindi na din ako nag-asa kanila. Dumiretso ako sa swab test area. Marami nakalain sa swab test area pero it won't take so long kasi maraming booth sila eh. Like 10 booths ata yung nandun and then maraming ding mga staff na mag-assist sa'yo. And then I really thought ha nga isang ilong lang yung tutusukin nila. That's what my friend told me, isa lang daw. Kaso, nung time ko, I don't know, pero dalawang ilong, dalawang buta sa ilong tape. Ang super sakit niya. As in. And then after that, may, lumba may lumabas sa, uh, may lumabas sa like, sa machine nila na sticker. Yun yung ididikit nila sa back ng passport mo. So, ayun, sabi ni Kuya kanina, guwapo pa naman si Kuya, sabi niya na, um, from time to time, I need to scan the QR code. Doon mismo sa DXB Smart Health app, and daw dapat isiscan yung QR code. So, I will know na negative ko ako or positive. Once I get negative, then pwede na akong lumabas sa hotel. Then, guys, it was very long day for me, but then everything is worth it kasi nandito na ako. And I'm just waiting na lang for my boyfriend to arrive. And I can't wait to see him. I'm gonna end my vlog right here. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please, if you haven't done yet. And also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you will get notified for my upcoming vlogs. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you, everyone, on my next vlog. Bye! Stay safe!